previously on the season. We will leave a mark on Belmont women's basketball as the winningest class in its Division I era with 92 victories. You turn around, just wait. Can we work this out? Can we work this out? Just wait. Can you call me, please? Come on, let me out of it. You lose. It's phenomenal what's happened, where we've come from, and, and where we are today. I think we can take it to another level, and I think the, the talent to do that is right here in front of me. So we got to get to work. Everyone who puts on that Belmont jersey knows we represent every team that has played here at Belmont. We're not satisfied. We like where we're at, but we're excited to see where we can go. People learn that we're fighters and we're going to keep coming. How do we feel about today? Are they the same shirt? Excited! Out there, you're gonna bark for him? Give us a bark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is everything like you said this whole season long has been great but really you play for March and that's what you work for since day one and so to be here for it to be March the tournament seeing our name was just icing on the cake it did happen so fast in the past two years it's taken like the whole selection show for us to wait and find out so it was a blast to see our name up there so quickly and then to make it now three years in a row like that's awesome I know some people don't even get to make one so I'm so excited and the rest of my team are excited too Duke is an incredible team and we're just excited for this opportunity to be in the NCAA tournament and you know for me it's fun we get to uh, go back to Georgia where I'm from so that'll be fun for sure. Go Bruins! Say go Bruins! Go Bruins! Can you show us our three goggles? Yeah. Can you flex? Can you flex? Yeah! <laughs> the real star! Oh no it's Tiger! Sight and sounds of the Bruins being selected. Of the Bruins reveal. Of the of the Bruins watch party. Yeah. <laughs> March Madness is here and it's happening over at Belmont University where the women's team is in the NCAA tournament, taking on Duke and Athens, Georgia on Saturday morning. So all week long, Belmont player and Oakland High School's own Paris Lawson is serving as our special correspondent, taking us behind the ah. scenes at Belmont. This morning, Paris has a look at one Bruins special connection to Saturday's opponent. 
here with Kylie Smith, who in the next game will be playing at home in Georgia. Now, we know that Duke has a player that you grew up with. Talk to me about your relationship with Lexi. Yeah, Lexi Brown, she's an incredible basketball player, but I know her, I've known her since middle school. And so just to be able to go, we're both going back home and to play against each other. We haven't played against each other in college and just our relationship and friendship that we've built, I think it's going to be something special. Now, it's got to be a little weird playing against her on the court. What's that going to be like for you? Yeah, I mean, we're both super competitive, and we've never let basketball come between us and not going to start now, So, but I'm definitely going for a win. Thanks so much, Kylie. Well, we look forward to seeing that showdown on Saturday, 10 Central. For Good Morning Nashville, I'm Paris Lawson. I'm excited. I'm thrilled for this team and everything that they've been through this year, just to experience this and all the people that are here to support us. I can't wait. can't wait. Looking forward to the most of atmosphere. I'm sure Duke is going to bring in a lot of fans and just to be playing at the University of Georgia and then just focusing on that game and taking care of business. Cookie smile. eating cake. Oh, close. Yeah. Darn That's it. Why I didn't smile for the so my chocolate. The light right here, that. though? <laughs> Phenomenal. Thanks. <laughs> Some macaroni, got some salmon, got some chicken. This is like Pinterest. It looks so good. I just piled everything on there. So I can get everything. I have no idea, but it tastes really, really good. Yeah? Because I'm on a roll. It's like, bueno, top notch. Next on the season, fruit bowls. Which is interesting. Thanks, Christian. <laughs> oh.
Let's go Bruins! Practice time. Wait, yep. All right. Okay. Yep. <laughs> okay. Get out. Nope. It's time to go. <laughs> to me and you know there's a handful of leaders in our locker room too just the the focus that they brought to every practice you know and it started in our, our first workouts in the summer and it's something that just has continued throughout the year and, and they approach every day like it matters and and they they focus whether it's a, a weight session or a film session a practice session or it's a game they bring their their toughness and their competitiveness to everything they've done so it's been Really impressive to see them consistently compete, no matter who we're playing. Just to think about that game last year and just know how um, how much fun it was to play in that kind of game and how, how tight it was and how uh, the toughness that we showed um, really helps uh, think about this game this year. Um, but this is a totally new team and um, a new team that we're playing against, so we have, um, we have to consider that as well. But we definitely have more confidence coming into this game. so happy to be home. I mean, I grew up going to um, camps here at the University of Georgia. I'm very, a lot of my friends from high school went to UGA, so it's great to be back in Athens and close to home. I'm super excited that we're going to have a great fan base, not only because we're close to Nashville, but um, myself as well as another teammate is from Alpharetta, and so um, being my last year too, it's really something special to get to play in front of a home crowd. It's just a great opportunity. We have uh, a really special team. Um, this year has been a, a whole lot of fun. Um, and I think that it just builds um, the program for the future. You know, we have um, a great coaching staff uh, that's, he comes in every single day ready to work and um, he wants to, to make this place uh, the best that it can possibly be. So uh, we want to help him do that every day. fun than I could imagine. I, di I didn't imagine how fun this was going to be. And I think a huge credit is obviously the, the support that our university gives our program and the people around our, our basketball program and, and the people I get to coach every day. I get to coach an amazing group of young women who they are who you want to represent you, whether it's in a restaurant, in a hotel, at a basketball game, wherever they are, they, they are what you what makes college athletics great and I get to coach them every day so it's been it's been fun this is just the beginning the OVC tournament that's done and gone that was just preparation for this moment we were made for this here's Darby Maggard long three got it 
runner. It's good. And a foul. Down the floor to the wide open Sally McKay. Try putting it up. And in with the left hand. Darby to the left side. Jumper to the left elbow. It's good and a foul. Kylie Smith. Reverse is good and one. Undefeated. 146 OBC game straight. Time to dust off those dancing shoes because the madness has only just begun. Beethoven, Rachmaninoff. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Is that your game day face? I can't hear you. You can. <laughs> can we get one? A big dog bark. <laughs> and play together as one unit um, with a goal to glorify you and a, a goal to just have the best time that we can have um, and play our best basketball today, Lord. I pray that by the way that we play and the way that we treat each other in um, competition, Lord, that we glorify you and make you smile, God. And I just thank you again for this day, that it's finally here. And God, I pray for an injury-free game and just um, a, fun, a fun time had by all, Lord. We love you and we praise you. It's in your name I pray. Amen. Amen. Talk about toughness. The toughness and the details is going to win the day. We're the tougher team. We're the first team on the floor. We're, the, we're, we're throwing the first punch. We're the tougher team today. And then adversity is going to hit. Togetherness in adversity is huge. That's how we're going to win today. Stay together in adversity. You guys, Splashville, this isn't just making threes. Splashville isn't about making threes. Splashville means we come out throwing punches. And we keep throwing punches the whole game until there's zeros on that clock. And whatever happens on the scoreboard, that's all right, because we're throwing punches the whole time. We're going to tap. We got our three. One, two, three. Yeah. yeah. Here we are. NCAA tournament round one. Belmont going up against Duke. Winner plays again Monday in the field of 32. Loser, season is over. Oh, we were made for this. We prepared every single day in practice, every single game. up the three, right side, count that one. Puts it up, blocked out of bounds by Sally McKay. Our shield drive, puts it up from the right side, it's good. And there's an offensive foul on Greenwell. Right side. Darby Maggard, open three, it's good. Play Harmeyer for three, count that one side, reverses it to McCabe, she'll put up a long two and make it. Great 
and then outside, Minchman for three, good. We'll put up the three ball, we'll make the three ball and we're tied. Rebound loose on the floor, trying to chase it down with Sierra Jones. Kylie Smith, corner three, it's good! Kylie Smith drains her second three. Kylie Smith to Ellie Harmeyer for three, count that one. Ellie Harmeyer drains the long range three balls, and we're gonna go to halftime. Well, it's an entertaining first half. We're better basketball team. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Session arrow points Duke way as Duke leads it 32-31 as we get set to go to work here. Left, Kylie Smith open for three, got it. To Kylie Smith, lay in from the left side is good. On top of Thias and threw it away. Out and around into the paint, putting it up to the left side, good. Step back three. Hits rim, won't fall, rebound, Suggs, fouled by Jenny Roy. Duke leads by 13 with one quarter to play. Let's go, let's go. You gotta fight. I know that isn't the case. That's so why I'm challenging you right now. Yeah, let's go. You yeah. gotta fight. So, we talked about splashing, that's what we come out swinging and we keep swinging. Yeah. Well, let's keep swinging, guys. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this fourth quarter, Belmont very good at the fourth quarter this season. Belmont will have the ball as we start the fourth quarter. Cody Smith lay in from the left side, good. And now McCabe puts it in from the left side. Kylie picks it up, lays it up and in. Good hustle by Kylie Smith. McCabe puts up a straightaway three and, and sinks it to Greenwell. Greenwell will put up a three, right side, good. That's the way this is going to end. Duke 72, Belmont 58. Going to bring you Belmont Bruins season. What a memorable year for the Belmont Bruins. You can't count us out until the buzzer goes off. So, I mean, there's, there's never been a doubt in my mind until you see two zeros across the board on the clock that we're out of this fight. And, you know, we talk about toughness and relentlessness um, all season, and I think that's what we showed. We see we go down 15. That doesn't mean anything to us. That means that, you know, coach always says one thing that's great is that he says you can't make a 15 point shot. You can't make a five point shot. You know, you can only go possession by possession. So um, that's what we tried to do. We tried to um, pick away and um, knock down some shots. It's been a lot of hard work and when we came in with Kylie, with Sierra and I as the other seniors, we had a vision for this program and um, our coaching staff over the years has had incredible vision for us and have pushed us to be the best players that we can be um, to the point of exhaustion and just <laughs> annoyance almost at some times, but it's been an incredible four years and um, I know that speaking for Kylie and Sierra, it's, it's just been an honor to wear this jersey and to see the growth in this program and just to see the young people coming in after us. Um, they have the vision also, and um, they're just going to take it and take what we started and run with it, and that's the best thing that you can have as a senior leaving. I came in here, and all three of those guys opened their arms up to me and said, let's, let's listen to this guy, and, and that gave us a shot to be pretty darn good this year, and I, I give them credit for that. I'm just thrilled that I got, I got a chance to go on my first you know, head coaching ride with these guys next to me it was, uh, it was a heck of a season. And you know, whatever happened today, the 40 minutes today doesn't doesn't define what this group did. You know, some of these guys for the fourth year here that just really made this program what it is, and I uh, can't thank them enough. Pray for safe travels, and I pray for the rest of this tournament, Lord. I just pray that these players can glorify you, God, not glorify themselves, Lord. It's all about you, 
So I pray that above all else, Lord, that we just, we love you well and love each other. And I just pray that we get home safely. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Together on three. One, two, three. Together. Together.